uh, versions of that, one in the red and one in black. Oh. And what they do is they, they, they burn the, the outside of the body and then bead blast it and then apply the finish and then that's how you get that textured look. Uh, and it's, it's only on his signature walls for 2017, so it's brand cool. We did his two for him about two years ago, and then now that he has his custom wall, uh, that's yeah. the only way you can get that color. So, Rich, any of my guitars ready now? <laughs> oh, man. I can't tell you from looking at them. Uh, yeah, here, follow, follow me, and we'll, 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 we'll come down here. And, uh... okay. How's it going, man? Good, good. Hey. Tour, right? Yeah, private tour. That's right. Okay, this is the room for for testing, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna start you at the very beginning in the okay. wood shop, and then we'll work our way around. All right. And then come back to this end. This is the very last. Area, okay. So. So this is uh, where all the, the CNCs and this is what happens uh, here from the uh, This Jordan wants to close it on you. Uh, as you can see, well these are some neck links after they've come off the CNC. And they get a rough cut uh, to the basic shape, basic headstock shape and then the truss rod. And, uh, and uh, some of them getting their uh, fingerboards pressed on. Oh, this is so you can see the different layers, you know, maple and then. Uh, I see. Maple, maple, maple. Right. That's Jordan. Hey. Jordan. So usually the, this side is for necks and fingerboards. Uh, that side is for bodies uh, and pick guards. And I'm not sure what Matt's cutting right now. Oh, can't look at that. Oh, okay, can't okay, look at okay. That okay. One. Yeah, so okay. <laughs> that's why there's a few things that they have to keep an eye on that's for. That's a secret. Exactly. <laughs> secret recipe. Exactly. Uh, but so you can see that the, the neck blanks before they cut. Oh, okay. Just raw wood. Yeah. Oh, okay. Rough cut body. Uh, yeah, bit, unfortunately, you can't see it operating, but it's okay. awesome. And again, these are just rough cut. The majority of the stuff uh, is done, you know, finished up on the other side. I see. Uh, these are the neck tubes over here. So after uh, after they're cut and, and uh, same with bodies, they're waiting. Uh, they acclimate, so we let everything acclimate for a month, oh, even see. though. They're dried and everything's done when we get them. We after we cut them, we let them reacclimate because we've removed, removed so much material. They want to make sure that uh, no weird things happen. I see. So that's why it takes months to build. Well, e exactly. So you know, uh, so if they cut a neck and they check it in a month and it's twisted, oh, I see. then they have to cut another neck in okay. another month. Okay. I see. So all of that, you know, every step they have a quality control stop basically to say, okay. Is this meeting our standards up until this point? Uh, yeah, and see, so. I think I'm such a bro. Yeah, so, uh, This is the raw wood section. This is, you know, a little bit of everything from mahogany to maple to the last bit of coco bolo. Uh, after that, we don't have any left. Are you sure? No more coco bolo? No more coco bolo. Oh, oh, come on, man. Those, those are our highest for existing orders, and after that, after this pile is gone, it's gone. Oh, this is the last batch this of the coco last bolo, the sir. Yeah, so, this is very precious, bro. Ah. And then something changes, that's the last thing. 
So this is all the like uh, mainly body woods. I know uh, occasionally they'll, they'll cut some tops out of those as well for body and neck work. Uh, a lot of the, uh, the top quilt oh. and flame and all uh, more of the uh, the tops are over here. Uh, small over there, bro, and so on. Uh, so after uh, it makes it through that area over here, the next will come over to this section, and this is where they actually do the majority of the shaping. So the rough cut, and they get a, a rough uh, overall shape, and then they're all hand shaped from here on out. So uh, on all these machines, they they do all the actual. You know, if you're getting a modern elliptical, eight to eight, I 15, see. that's where the, the majority of this takes place. And that's where they do all the extra work. Obviously all the fretting. Uh, and same thing with the body. So the bodies get a rough cut to the basic shape, but all the hand contours, uh, all, all the beveling, all that stuff gets, uh, happens over uh, on this back wall. So uh, you, you do manually, let's say for the contour? The, so the, the, the basic rough shape is cut oh, out I and see. they'll do the, uh, there, the, 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 the body hand arm okay. contour, uh, but if it's a top, it gets hand bent. I see. So uh, yeah, so there's still a ton of hand work that goes into them, uh, and uh, you know in the final shaping. So you can see like this, uh, you know, those are ones that are being stained and uh, you know halfway in the process. I'm guessing this one's. Hey, I think that's, that's the color at the lamp. Is it? It, it may be ones that, that didn't make it. Okay. So, so that's why some of this stuff, yeah, we, we may not you know, allow everyone to, you know. Okay. You know, we don't want anything like that we can't really take pictures of. I see. Or to share them with lots of people. Um, so stuff like this. So after, you know, it, it makes it through all of this process and you can see different bodies in different stages of, of sanding and, and getting ready. Uh, it comes back over here for staining if it gets a stain. Uh, you can see these bodies are getting ready for you're know, drying and then you're getting ready for paint so uh, or more sanding so if uh, depending on the process they may do some more sanding and add more color or you know all depends on what color is being chosen uh, yeah there's some more exotic wood and other stuff that overflow section so there's a set neck getting ready for whatever I'm guessing it's probably gonna be a natural or a brown burst and uh, yeah, and getting ready to get prepped for paint. Uh, that's all inventory stuff. That's okay. Nothing exciting over there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just boxes. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is your dry. So th this is yeah. This is another stage. So after uh, you know they do, depending on what they're doing, uh, they may either come back out here for sand some more sanding, uh, or uh, yeah, or they're getting ready to go back in for paint. So. Uh, yeah, you can see this one has uh, a lot of, you know, all that, all that binding gets done by hand back at that very, very first station we walked in the door. I see. So after it gets all the channels cut, all the shaping, all the other stuff, they, 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 they bind it and uh, yeah, all by hand, they cut it all by hand. You can see this one has a step, so they have to do uh, oh, extra, yeah. extra work and that's also why they uh, take, you know, it costs more money because it's multiple layers so after they spray the, the one color they take retape it oh, off and have to respray it again it's almost almost the same amount of tape and work into it uh, well, you can't touch it but look okay. at that gorgeous color on that yeah one. man that feels, you know, beautiful. <laughs> and then um, obviously this is our paint booth uh, i'm not sure exactly how they usually set it up because they, uh, they have two different sides. You can look all the way through and see a bunch of bodies. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then necks are hanging out on this side. Uh, the crazy thing is, uh, depending on what kind of paint they do, they try to batch them together as much as possible. So if they do any kind of flake or any kind of heavy metallic, uh, they have to shut the thing down and then completely clean it because there's so much contaminants in the oh. air. So they have to plan that accordingly. So, you know, they try to use many like colors or similar stuff in a row so it doesn't... You know they're not going to shoot a heavy metallic and then do black because it'll show every little speck that's still in the air mm. and it's, it's way harder to control and not get the uh, contaminants and all that stuff so you <laughs> avoid contamination <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, so you can see there's 50 rods. Next, they're taking some in. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna do probably a top coat on that. So factory working until Friday only? I'm sorry? Go factory? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, some guys are probably gonna come in tomorrow. Oh, I see. Uh, but a limited amount, so oh, okay. it'll be uh, usually depending. A lot of times it's, it's paint because uh, they try to get caught up on, because of they, can't, they can only shoot certain things at certain times, sometimes they have to get caught up and they'll come in and I see. Uh, do that. These look like they all got uh, a base coat and they're probably gonna go back in through the more color or top coat. This is the Tiger. Yeah, yeah. It's so, right. Yep, yep, different stages of that goodness. See like all these guys have had, uh, looks like an undercoat. Sorry, this is so you, you have to ma manually you tape it? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure how much would they want you to show that to <laughs> okay. people as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, but had, like on ones like these, obviously you can tell it's had a, uh, uh, a base coat and they're gonna, they sand it, prep it, and they send it back for whatever else is going on. Oh, that one's gorgeous too. Yeah. It's funny, no matter how many times I walk by, you always hear the one, you're like, man, that is so nice. And then, yeah, here's a later okay. staging of, uh, of it actually receiving, you know, most of the paint, it'll probably... Ah, uh, this is mine. Ah, uh, yeah, so those are the new... The, well, and, and this gives you a... Uh, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, so those ones 